Hey guys, Sandeep here from LearnTech. So today in this video, I will explain you how we can connect to a Remedy system or Remedy server using a Java API. So BMC has already given us a set of Java APIs. So um, using those uh, APIs, we can connect to BMC Remedy AR server and perform all the operations which we normally do using a, uh, our um, a workflow like filters, active links so uh, here uh, we will see that how we can perform the same operation using the java api currently in this video what i will explain you is that how we can connect to remedy and then how we can create a record in remedy and simultaneously how we can fetch a record from the remedy so that you can uh, have a basic understanding of uh, connecting to remedy using a java api and then performing the um, uh, operation of uh, creation and searching so similarly we can have multiple other operations we can create filters active links there are n number of apis in the um, bmc remedy considering the java apis so you can go through those java apis and then try to build it on uh, your own based on the requirements you have but i will try to uh, explain you here is how to um, uh, basically create the basic thing which is just to create a record in a form so to uh, start with this i have just used this you know uh, what i was talking about java api uh, which is ar api 901 it depends on again on the version which you are using so you can you have to first of all use this library then uh, to connect to remedy i am using one connection uh, object or a connection class so first i will connect to this remedy using this connection class then using my uh, create form entry class i will create a record in the remedy system and simultaneously i will also use a uh, search to make a uh, search in the remedy system that we will see how that works so first of all let's see this connection class so if you see here i have defined an ar server object so here itself i have defined an ar server object then i have uh, defined a function you know this is a normal java function so here i'm trying to initialize one ar server connection uh, to ar server and then i need to give these details you know where if we connect have to connect to ar server we have to provide either ip or host name then i have to give user then i have to give password then the port this is the port which ar server is running on normally which is tc um, tcp port and then uh, this dot verify user uh, function uh, will when we will call will basically uh, perform a connection to the ar server and it will tell you if the connection was successful or not so uh, we will uh, we will start with the uh, first with this uh, connection option so let's let me do one thing let me just try to show you how we can connect to your server so let me just create a connection object and call this uh, connection function this is just for understanding so i'll say archon initialize connection okay now let me run this class so now it will try to connect to ar server using the credentials which i have given and will show me if i am able to connect to your server or not so with this uh, once the connection is uh, established with the ar server so okay here we go so we have already connection successful so i had just uh, printed that um, uh, connection object so um, uh, currently i am connected to ar server using this object now uh, i will show you how to make use of this particular thing in a uh, while creating a record now you can see i have another class the class here is okay let's before showing you this class let me go to remedy so this is my remedy here i have this student table currently you can see it has 10 record uh, sorry 14 records and uh, it has these um, you know um, fields which is role number name class age phone uh, phone number so these are the details which are there in the in this particular form so the name of the form is student underscore table what we will try to do we'll try to create a record in this form from the java apis so let me go back to my program okay so this is my uh, creation program 
so let me give you a bit of it uh, let me explain you what exactly this is so in this case what we will do first of all using the create entry um, uh, class we'll get a remedy connection and once we get a remedy connection then we create an entry in the remedy system then we will also retrieve the uh, the details which are of the um, newly created entry so this is my function here create entry so here you can see to uh, define uh, or to put entry into a form so we have to first of all define an entry object this is from the um, uh, the ar apis you have you have to define or initialize new entry object then you have to put uh, you have to put uh, you know uh, for a particular field you have to put an put value like this so here you can say entry dot put this is the field id for example this is five three six eight seven zero nine two three this is this is here if i go again back in remedy so this is my role number here so i will show you in developer studio also this is the field id here five three six eight seven zero nine two so this is the field id for the role number so whatever value i put in in that particular field here it will go to the role number similarly for other fields i have defined it now uh, after defining this the other um, after the uh, defining all the field values i need to call a function to create this entry so what i will do it entry dot put uh, i will put again all the uh, sorry all the values we will put then i will call this create entry i will pass on this schema schema i have it's the name of the table and entry is the complete entry object which i need to pass so if i click go here okay sorry so uh, here now uh, once uh, once this um, when i when i will um, uh, call this create entry is basically a function from your um, uh, ar system or an ar uh, server api so if it is created it will call an ar server api to create entry in that particular schema or that uh, table and you will use this entry object to fill in the details for the fields so here also i have done one more thing i am using this retrieve entry so what it will return you back when the entry is created it will get you the request id so here i am storing this request id in a string and then i am passing on this request id to my function retrieve entry so now we we'll let's see this retrieve entry so retrieve entry is again this is to search that particular record which was created so here i am defining a qualification object this is how we would define it where a request uh, my request id you know one is the id for request id is equal to request id which is my what i am passing so if uh, when i create an um, entry i will get a request id so i'll pass on this to this function then this is how we basically retrieve the entry so these are the just uh, you know to uh, get the um, get all the entries from the um, there's a uh, you know uh, predefined format we have to use uh, to get the entries from this record a record object so here uh, what i will do okay before going on to this uh, so what i will do i will define this record object this is again an entry object i am defining here and then i will call this fetch uh, i will call this function fetch single record with with qualification this is just a function i have defined i pass on ar server object the qualification i defined and the table so let me go to this function okay the function here is here itself in my um, in, it is this, uh, the third class which is search remedy search remedy this is the third class which i was talking about so here in this we have to uh, it will take this qualification and then it will perform using the qualifier info object it will perform a search in the schema and it will return me the results so now what it will do basically it will return me a, a list of entries so which will include every entry uh, of that sorry every um, field of that particular row so it can be entry id it will be sub submitter sh short description so whatever is there in that particular row it will return me that so what i am doing here i do not want those um, uh, you know regular um, uh, fields so i am removing them here so this is a function to remove basically if i say uh, if, uh, uh, this field list dot remove integer 5 so it will remove my uh, 
uh, entry uh, value for uh, value for a field with uh, with field id as 5 so similar then once i get this then i uh, then i pass on these field ids to particular um, uh, this function called get entry i will get its schema name then i will pass on this uh, field ids uh, to this uh, and then it will basically give me a record which will return a complete record so let me go back to the create entry form so here i will receive this record then i will just print it so let let us run this okay let me change the values before we go and uh, call this let me say instead of uh, this is our name student name i will say java student this is just for understanding and then we will see what the values will come okay let me keep the other values that is let me run this so we will create a student now uh, with the name as java underscore student and with the other details and then simultaneously we will retrieve it based on the request id which is here uh, we are getting it back as from as um, you know as a return from the uh, create function and then we are passing this to the retrieve entry function so here you can see i have created a record successfully first it made a connection to remedy system using the remedy connect function then i created an entry in remedy system and then i retrieved this entry and printed it here you can see it is printed like this now we go to the remedy and see if it is created there so let me refresh it okay now there are 15 entries if i go to the last entry you can see here this is java underscore student which we just created so this is uh, how we connect to remedy system using the java api and create a um, and create an entry and search an entry from the remedy system using this java api i will uh, put this uh, code uh, in the video itself you can um, you can download it and then you can modify it according to your own requirements this is just basic uh, code 